All right, in this video, I want to talk about standard temperature and pressure. So basically, two things should jump into your mind as soon as you hear standard temperature and pressure. One of them is that standard temperature and pressure really just means that you're at zero degrees Celsius or 273 degrees Kelvin, and your pressure is one ATM. Both those things should just immediately jump into your head as soon as you hear standard temperature and pressure. Uh, the other thing is that for every one mole of a gas, you have 22.4 liters. That its volume is 22.4 liters. That's its under standard temperature and pressure conditions. So let's do a problem here with this, okay? It says when potassium metal relaxes with chlorine gas, the product the product uh, is solid potassium chloride. How many grams of potassium uh, chloride are produced when 7.25 liters of chlorine gas at standard temperature and pressure relax with potassium? So let's just write out our formula here. It says potassium metal potassium metal reacts with chlorine gas. Chlorine is a diatomic uh, molecule. Molecule You can tell that by looking at the periodic table. It makes a 7 around oxygen down to iodine, and chlorine's in that, so it's a diatomic. So it's Cl2 produces uh, potassium chloride. So we have KCl. All right. Um, and it's KCl because, not KCl2, because K in its ionic form wants to uh, give up a, an electron. Chlorine wants to receive one, so they're just KCl. All right, so we have to balance this now because we have two Cl's over here and one over there. So we had a 2, and now we have 2 potassium. Add a 2 there. Now we're balanced. All right, so now we can do our formula and predict some chemistry. So we have uh, our given here, 7.25 liters of chlorine gas. And you know what, actually, let me go ahead and write out my roadmap of how I'm going to solve this, okay? I'm going to start with what I'm given, which is liters of Cl2. Next, we're going to go to moles of Cl2. And once we're in moles of Cl2, we can use this, this balanced equation that we just made up from our problem to uh, predict some chemistry, okay? And what I mean by that is once I have moles of chlorine or chloride, uh, chlorine gas, pardon me, uh, I can use that in a ratio to figure out how many moles of potassium chloride that is. And what I mean is for every one mole, because there's a, an imaginary one right there, uh, it's just assumed that's a one of chlorine gas, I have two moles of potassium chlorine or chloride. And just as easily as I can say, for every two moles of uh, potassium, I have two moles of potassium chloride. Or for every two moles of potassium, I have one mole of chlorine, and for vice versa, you can just go on and on and on. All right, so basically, I'm going to use that molar ratio to determine from however many moles of chlorine I have to figure out how many moles of potassium chloride I have. Because that's what my problem wants, right? How many grams of potassium chloride are produced when 7.25 liters of chlorine gas or standard temperature and pressure reacts with potassium? So once I have moles, I can then go from moles of potassium chloride down to grams of potassium chloride. All right, so that's how I'm going to go about solving this problem. And let me go ahead and do it in a different color. And let me get rid of this over here uh, and the yellow. And I'll do it all in the different color. OK, so we're going to start with our given, which is 7.25 liters of chlorine gas. Um, reacts with. Uh, so we're going to convert that into moles. So we've got our liters. So we know, uh, under standard time, temperature, and pressure conditions, that we have, for every one mole 
we have 22.4 liters. Okay, and then we know that's going to take us from liters to, of Cl2 to moles of Cl2. Well, if we stop now, we'd be in moles of Cl2, and we'd only really be, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say uh, a tenth of the, the way right. It wants to know moles of, or grams of potassium chloride, so we need to go use our molar ratio, right? So we know, take it a step further here, for every, uh, that's going to be moles of Cl2, we know that for every one mole of Cl2, there are two moles of KCl, potassium chloride, right? If we stop now, we'd have moles of potassium chloride, <clears throat> which would kind of be right, except they want to know how many grams it actually is. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe they want to uh, measure it out in, in the laboratory or something like that, and so that grams are more practical than moles. Who knows? Uh, at any rate, they want to know grams, so let, we're going to give them grams. So we know for every one uh, mole, and, and to do this, we're just going to use a molar mass. We know for every one mole of potassium chloride, we have X grams uh, of potassium chloride. So let's pull up the periodic table here again. Potassium is 39, we'll just call it 39 grams, and chlorine is 35.45 grams, so 35.45, and we've got one of each, so that's 74.45, 74.45. Grams of potassium chloride for every one mole. So that's our formula. Moles of chloride are going to cancel out. Moles of chlorine are going to cancel out. And liters, um, that should be Cl2. I do as I say, not as I do on labeling here. I forgot to put uh, chlorine gas on that. It's very important you do that so when you come back to do the cancel out, that you know exactly what you're canceling out and you're not left confused. So liters of chlorine uh, gas cancel out and you're left with grams of potassium chloride which is what we wanted to get, right? How many grams of potassium chloride are produced? So let's just grab our calculator here again and solve for this problem. Alright, let me move this down or up rather so you can see it. We've got 7.25 times 1 divided by 22.4 times 2 moles divided by 1 times 74.45 divided by 1. I'm just doing the divided by 1 so that you uh, get the idea of dimensional analysis here. You don't actually have to do these. Um, I'm just doing it to uh, remain consistent. So that's 48.19. So we have 48.19 grams of potassium chloride. Now let's go back and look at our problem. It gives us three significant figures in our problem. So it's going to end up being 48.2 grams of potassium chloride <clears throat> as our final answer. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing uh, and that it helped. Thanks for watching.